Now I want to talk about uh, how to using a database, import the data, uh, and using LaTeX. Uh, we learn in for loop, we can list in the list, but uh, when you have a more complicated structure, uh, the for loop is not very useful. So now I talk about uh, the function a package called Data2. So Data2 allow you to uh, uh, use a CSV about data structure and then uh, and do and you can loop over all the database so now uh, let's use the use package data too and then uh, load the package uh, either you can put the cfc file as the text file and then you can call the data to load database and give the name data okay and here the database csv file i put it in the same file here usually put it outside but you can also for a small file you can also put in the same a file here uh when you use the use package file contents and uh, i create file contents a csv file the database and a comma delimiter file um, you can produce this uh, using excel or you can just type it out now the data where it is imported okay now it's important data so how you loop over database will use um, the function called uh, data2 uh, and for each okay data2 for each and then you say star star means uh, the data is uh, read only so we don't you, you are not writing the data set so this should for most purpose and then data data's name we give it here and then two have two columns right and then the column name is name and food so i have a name and food and then uh, the name is here uh, to define the variable name to be name and food is the food column um, and then uh, your slash item because item now is here and i see the name with the one in the first column and then eat the food second column so when you run this you will see the file is Peter is an apple, John is a banana, and is an orange. Okay. It's not N because uh, orange here, so let's ignore this article, so that should be fine. Okay. Um, and then table here can do the same. So, tabular, we have a centered aligned table. And then again, you can do the same uh, data tool for each star data and uh, give the uh, column name and then you do uh, the standard thing uh, new line and then uh, exactly uh, you can create the table okay so now you understand how to import data and then you can create a very uh, nice document based on external data thank you